Um, okay, we're uh, about we time to wrap up. Five we got, minutes. We've got about five minutes, so I want to talk about something we teased to, TV term, yesterday. And uh, I'm really ready to talk about Yeah, you got to get it off your chest. Ready? Yeah. Raccoons. Raccoons. Do you have we any raccoon music? Yeah, give me, give me some raccoon music. Raccoon music? Uh, Maybe or muskrat, muskrat love. Muskrat love. Yeah, I was yeah, thinking yeah. of that, too. Oh, there, <laughs> there you it go. Is, yeah. That's, good. That's actually what it sounds like. In Okay, in between the walls of my house, I have raccoons, and they – could you hit that sound again? Okay, but, but time's about 10, and so much so that when I first heard I had raccoons, I thought I had ghosts because my house is like 100 years old. The ghost of Dewey Weber. Somebody was there and, and doing this, and – now I've been told I have raccoons. So then we went and we got traps for the raccoons at 150 bucks. You didn't get the traps. You called someone I to called bring someone traps. And they literally walked in, put down a trap, said, give me $150. And put cat food in it. And left. And they did not expect a cat to go in there, right? We've caught three cats and two yeah. squirrels, it no makes, raccoons. It never makes sense. In fact, the raccoons are so brilliant, they push over the trap, and then they go get the cat food. This is, this is how smart they are. They... One night, I heard one out there about 4 o'clock in the morning, and um, I go out, and I turn on the light, and he, he looks up, and he's looking right at me, and so I don't know why. On his hind legs, On probably. his hind legs, yeah. and he's kind of, he's Ready not to scared. Box. He's not scared. He's no. giving me the, you know, what's up? And for some reason, I turned into a, uh, like, southern sheriff, and I said, hey, you get <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> you get okay? And, of course, he just was like, what? <laughs> So, now, raccoons can be very dangerous. So, of course, I had a weapon, an uh, underinflated volleyball. I said, all right. Every and home I in Hermosa Beach has, has one of one. these. Throw it at him. Hits him in the shoulder, thinking that's going to stun him. Hits him, and he just kind of goes, right, what? And then he just crawled back into my house. Sounds like a Pixar movie. So, please, if you have any suggestions. Now, they're, they're talking about now they might have to cut into my walls and um, uh, pump in dominant raccoon male pheromones that when I told Tommy that, he said, don't you have that in your pants? Thank you. Yeah. But they literally may have to do that. So if anybody has any idea. I would say send a skunk in there to smoke him out. Oh, God. But then you got the skunk. But, you know, a skunk, yeah. we, we had skunk issues. Skunks went under our house once, and the whole house just smelled awful. Right. So all they told us was, yeah, they set up the traps. But you know what? You boil vinegar around the house. Okay. So the whole house smelled like burning vinegar. Right. And it was not as pleasant <laughs> as the skunk smell was better. Okay. All right. It's, you know, you, you kill it with orange spray. I don't know what you'd kill it with. But, yeah, we have the same problems. Raccoons come in our house once. We have skunk. We have uh, we have uh, possums, which See, is a whole other story. I come from a city called Downey, which is inland, and it has a lot of agriculture. So we had tons of wildlife. Yeah. But when I moved to the South Bay, I just thought all the wildlife would be they in the They all came ocean. down from Palisades. Bill Lambier chased them all down the hill. <laughs> there you go. That's what it amounted to. It's just, it's incredible how much stuff we've got, and yeah. you, you can't, you you can't be, touch them. No, you don't want to touch them. No, no. Because what did, you, what did you tell us the other day, John, about rabies? If you see a raccoon during the day. During the day, if yeah. you see a raccoon dur out during the day, it is uh probable that it has rabies oh no uh, because just they're freaked out of my head. they're uh typically a uh, nocturnal animal right right um but since you guys were talking about at the beginning of the show how uh no matter what we talk about right i have something that's bigger <laughs> and better right, there, there you it go is. here it is so uh <laughs> <laughs> earlier this month he dated a raccoon no nope, yeah. no nope, no nope, no nope. <laughs> yeah. and it is young style <laughs> so <laughs> hold on zombie raccoons are terrifying residents in ohio <laughs> I told you. This was earlier this month. Uh, this one I got up is from USA Today. ABC7 took the story. The Washington Post. Uh, the New York Times had it at one point. Can we post this somewhere? Uh, it, we'll, we'll put it in the, in the okay. links. But uh, the Youngstown, uh, Ohio, police are investigating reports of zombie-like raccoons in Northeast oh, Ohio. WKBN-TV, the local uh, CBS yeah. affiliate, was the first to uh, report Eyewitness. on it. They were on it. And I must admit, my raccoons sound happy. In fact, I think they're raising a family. They should be. Which they're very domesticated at this point. Well, it means, Tommy, that in my in between my walls, they're making sweet, sweet raccoon love. And mm. I'm, I don't know if Muskrat. I'm okay with that. Bones. And slightly mm. violent. Muskrat. Anyways, look at Tommy. Okay, we're going to get this sucker done. 30 really, minutes. if you have any ideas, send Again, me, 30 please minutes send or less. raccoon if ideas. If this show is 30 minutes or less, you get it free. <laughs> and then also, uh, uh, local t-shirt company is now selling zombie raccoon shirts. Okay. I need and they're selling Again, out. Again, 